Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Brock Tech. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for a short time and I've had a number of subscribers and followers and comments and uh, suggestions and I thank you for all of those. Uh, so if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I just want to review a little bit about a drive that I purchased, or I should say a drive controller that I purchased. Um, this particular drive, as you can see here, uh, is hooked up through the red USB cable. Um, I purchased this because I have eight, eight terabyte drives that are SAS, which is a server protocol. Um, and I got these from a, a former, former life where I had, um, these drives were used in a server that I had. So I needed something to be able to hook into my PC, into my laptop or desktop or whatever it may be. So I was looking for one and everybody keeps saying you can't do it. It's not possible. So eventually I did find, you know, a few, a few suggestions saying, hey, you can, you got to get one of these controllers. So, you know, I go to good old Amazon and, and look for these or eBay. I went to both um, as well as some others. Uh, the eBay ones were seven hundred dollars. The um, ones on Amazon they range from about one hundred and fifty all the way up to uh, you know two hundred two hundred twenty dollars. Um, I wanted to take the risk and see if I could get these eight gig drives work. So I purchased one, and this is the one that I'll be reviewing here. Uh, to start with, there's there's actually two. I'll do a review on both. I'll compare the two of them. So one of them that I'm going to start out here is the Mawu. SAS, the USB hard drive enclosure, uh, and this one, it looks beautiful, you know, it's aluminum casing and, you know, pretty easy to use and everything. Um, there are some flaws to it, and I'll highlight those here in a little bit, but the other one I purchased was also from Amazon, and it was a little more expensive, and this one's from a company called Anyoyo. Uh, now, I will say that I have returned the Mawu. And I am keeping the San, the An Yo Yo. Uh, it is significantly better. In my opinion, it is better. So here I'm just running the ATTO disk benchmark. Um, and this, so this is how I click start, it initializes the file. And you'll see here it'll take a little bit, and eventually you'll see an error. Um, and what happens is the only way to clear the error will be to power off the drive for a couple minutes, um, which means, you know, the, the drive won't even use this. And somewhat that's because of the connectivity. It's supposed to work with the USB-C. There's the air. It's supposed to work with USB-C or USB-A, um, but in the only way I can actually get it to work is through a USB hub. When plugging it directly into the USB-C or A port, it would just freeze the computer and then eventually the drive would disappear. So this is me trying another ATTO benchmark uh, test and uh, this time I have it plugged directly from the USB-C to uh, the drive to the USB-C port on my laptop. Um, this cable that I'm using is the cable that came with the other brand or with the other controller and it worked fine with that one which you'll see in a video here in a second. But this is trying to just run the test and you'll see that it'll error out again. Um, I could not get this drive to work with seven different computer systems that I have ranging anywhere from eight years old to about, uh, well, uh, less than a little, little less than a year um, that I custom built. So here I'm just showing you that I still have it plugged into the USB-C port. Um, and then I'm going to show you... I, I cut away here or cut out a section of it takes about 40 to 80 seconds in order for the drive to show up here. So I cut out about 40 seconds. Um, that's why it looks like it kind of jumps. Um, and again, so what I'm going to try to do here, I cut away there as well because I had some files that were named um, or some information there that was personal. So I didn't want to share that. But what I'm trying to do here is I have a, a Windows um, ISO file or a Windows installation file. It's about 5.5 gigs and I am trying to send it from my desktop, the test folder that I have there, trying to send it to the drive. 
and it will not work directly connect it to my computer. So here's the error. Um, <laughs> and then what happens? This is where it locks up. Uh, and I'll show you a video. And I'll show a video where um, you can see the temperature gets up to about 100 degree, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is quite hot. Um, and I'll use the my FLIR um, camera for that. So this next section is just um, where I have the USB going through my DynaDoc Toshiba USB hub. Um, and I'm transferring the same file, and you'll see here kind of what the speed looks like. Uh, that's been the top speed about 40 megabytes per second on this drive with this controller through the HB hub H excuse me through the Dynadoc hub I cannot get it to work directly to the laptop so this is the only way I could get it to work so it does work on another hub really slowly as well um, you know but this was part of the troubleshooting I did with customer service from this from this vendor so here I'm just using my FLIR um, camera, and you can see here this is running, uh, transferring a few files, and we're running at about 129, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is extremely hot. That's right at the, where the drive plugs into the unit and the power supply also plugs in there. This next one is just the unit that I am keeping, the and yo yo so this is just the, the Anyoyo drive, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last drive, and this is plugged directly up into my laptop. I'm going to transfer that Windows file, which is about 5.5 gigs, into this, and you'll see that the speed here is 250 uh, or so megabytes per second, and this 5 gig file takes 15 to 20 seconds versus um, the other one would have taken 5 to you know about four to five minutes I, I can't remember what it listed but quite a bit more than this and here's just transferring some random files i'm doing a backup of my hard drive about 123 gigs and it's going to take about 11 minutes the average speed here i think ends up being about 250. my final thoughts here are that this drive the Anyoyo, yo works perfectly well for my needs and will work for people looking for a conversion from SAS to USB, which everybody says can't be done.